We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned.
We're going live in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Mommies, happy Mother's Day. Hello, hello. Sino na nandito? Let me see. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Mommies, how are your Mother's Day go? Mother's Day celebrations going at home? Nagluto ba kayo or pinagluto kayo? And who are here na? Okay. Hello, Marilyn. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you also. Alam ko si Mommy Kay nanonood din. Thank you, Ayala Malls and um, Mom Academy for inviting me this afternoon. And so, um, let's start na? Or should we wait for other people pa? Okay, let's start. So, um, I'll give a brief introduction lang of who I am. Kasi syempre, niyo, hindi niyo naman ako kilala. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Bernadette. Um, I am a mom of a toddler named Felice also. Yeah, so hindi ko siya pinangalan after the mall. Nagkataon lang na yung, day, uh, yung year na pinanganak siya, yun din yung year na natayo ang Ayala Felice. Ah, ba? Diba? So, um, very serendipitous. <laughs> yeah, so um, I am a professional perfumer and a certified fragrance specialist. So I consider myself as a entrepreneur, meaning all of the businesses that I am involved in revolve around fragrances. So one of those is Scent for Living. It's a um, home fragrance line and a blog, online blog. Yun. Um, I also put up Scent Studio, which is the first DIY um make your own fragrance blend studio here in the Philippines. And then um, also BC Fragrance. I'm the co-founder of BC Fragrance. Um, ako yung B doon sa BC. C is my sister Caroline who is also a mom and is watching right now. Happy Mother's Day, Chobe. And so BC Fragrance naman is a um, raw material supplier. So to those who are making soaps and fragrances, fragrance products, yeah, we supply fragrances for those, yeah, to, to makers, yeah. Yeah, so let's go now with the, ano, with the DIY stuff. Um, Actually, the DIY self-care kit, the reason why we thought of that is because, of course, it's Mother's Day, it's your day, diba? It's the mommy's day today. But not a lot of us have actually the um, the luxury na mag- Anyway, we have one hour of our times to of our time today. Because, syempre, we're all stuck at home with our family. Wala naman tayong pag-iwanan sa anak natin na sabi natin. Oh, um, can I get one hour para 
matulog lang muna. <laughs> um, hindi siya ganun kadali gawin because everyone is at home. We have to take care of our families. But as soon as the kids uh, go to sleep, di ba? Later tonight, you can use the products that we're going to make this afternoon para at least you get to pamper yourself, especially because we're going to do three things. Um, one is the cooling mist or a relaxing mist. Number two is a massage oil. And then the third one is an essential oil blend that you can use for your diffusers and burners. Yeah. So um, in the next 30 minutes, that's what we'll be concentrating on. So these are all very simple recipes that you can follow at home. Um, if in case you do not get to, if you, in case you do not get to um, watch this live, at least you can view it again in the Facebook pages of um, Ayala Feliz, DC Fragrance, and in Mama Academy. So very simple recipes lang to. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Frax. And hello, Randy. Yan. Nakapanood ako sa live. Wow, thank you naman. Salamat, salamat. Happy Mother's Day din sa inyo. Yan. So, let's go with the first one. So, um, what we need to make our cooling mists are your spray bottle. You can buy this from Shopee, Lazada. There are a lot of online centers that sell um, empty bottles, spray bottles. So you get the 100 ml. Okay, get 100 ml um, spray. And then we also have a peppermint essential oil. This is very crucial. Okay, then what else do we need? Distilled water or pinakulo ang tubig na lumamig na. Make sure that it is already cool. Okay, so if you do not have the time to um, boil water and let it cool, you can use distilled water or mineral water. That's fine. Filtered water is also okay. Then, we also have alcohol. So, ang alcohol na ginagamit namin, usually for fragrance products, is ethyl alcohol that comes from sugar cane. But, um, marami tayo ngayon hand sanitizers at home, di ba? So, you can actually also use the 70% ethyl alcohol that you have in your homes or sa yung mga hand drops. You can also use that one. If you do not have ethyl alcohol or your hand sanit liquid hand sanitizers, liquid dapat ha, not the gel. Okay? So, if you do not have liquid hand sanitizers that are alcohol-based, you can also use witch hazel. Okay, so witch hazel is a type of alcohol as well that you can buy naman from healthy options. So, yan, marami kayong options. Ano yung steps natin to make um, your cooling mix? So, I'll get... Ah, so, if notice ninyo, meron pa akong ibang essential oils here. Papakita ko na lang sa inyo later. Yan, so we'll get our spray bottle. Then, I also prepared a funnel. Yeah, so my funnel din ako para hindi matapon. Okay, so how do I measure? Okay, so we'll get alcohol or witch hazel. Um, if you're using your hand drops, you can use that as well. Actually, if you also have colognes that you are not using anymore, you can use that also. Yeah, so you measure one-fourth, one-fourth cup of that alcohol. Okay. Then we'll put it here spray bottle. Mas madali if you have a funnel para hindi tatapon yung liquid. And then, I will also get water. So, yung water, you'll just fill the bottle up with water. Okay. And then, the magic ingredient. So, peppermint. Bakit peppermint? Peppermint is known for its sweet herbaceous scent. Um, it is also cooling. Yan. So, ito yung menthol factor natin sa ating cooling mist. So, you can put five, three to five drops of peppermint essential oil. So, usually makikita ninyo yung mga essential oils pag binibenta. Either they have the droppers na yung pinipindot ninyo or ginito. Ayan. Ayan siyang orifice. So, hintayin nyo lang na mag-drop siya. Three, 
four, five. Yeah, so five drops, and then you just put the cover. Shake it. Ta-da! Yan na siya. Okay, so you just spray it. Yeah, so you'll, you'll notice that it feels cool on the skin. So basically, ito ang aircon in a bottle. Okay. So if you're going out, you're doing air runs, sobrang init ngayon, you can take this with you. If you have a smaller bottle, just do everything in half. Diba? So kunyari, 50 ml lang yung bottle ninyo, just cut in half lahat ng sinabi mo. So if you're putting um, 5 drops, you can just put 2 or 3 drops instead. Okay, so, ano yung ibang essential oils here? So, basically, yung um, peppermint kasi, that's the cooling factor. But if you want to add a little bit of energizing fragrances or something that smells a little bit nice and sweet, para pwede nyo na rin siyang gawing cologne ninyo, you can also add grapefruit. Or if you want something that is relaxing amoy spa, you can put eucalyptus. Yeah. So, eucalyptus, if you want to make a cooling room mist para transforming yung house nyo into a spa, you can do that. And grapefruit, if you're on the go. Diba? Kasi it smells very zesty, very energetic. Yon. So, that's it for the cooling spray. Yeah. So, did you guys get to watch that ano the the DIY cooling mist diba sobrang easy um sobrang dali lang siya gawin right and um maraming questions here so i'd like to ask first like what do you guys do to relax ba pag ano let's say it's not just for mother's day like on an ordinary day what do you guys do to relax yourselves so yeah habang i'm waiting for your ano your answers I'll read some of the comments here. Yeah. What can we use if we don't have essential oils now during ECQ? Great question. Because there are a lot of stores that are closed where you can buy EOS, diba? So, ako, honestly, if, you, if you're not very particular with the cooling factor, the reason why we did the cooling mist is because it's really hot nowadays, diba? So, um, very helpful, lalo na kapag init na init na tayo. Kasi, mommies, mabilis na rin uminit yung ulo pag mainit din yung panahon. Tama, mommies? Yan. So, um, another, uh, uh, an, an alternative that you can use is actually fruits that you can find in the groceries. So, if hindi kayo very particular with the cooling factor, you just need something that will freshen up your space, you can actually buy mint leaves sa mga groceries. Yan. Um, what you can do is crush it. Tapos, you put it, crush it, and then chop it up. Then, put it in your spray bottle. Mga isang, ano, um, maybe around a teaspoon of mint leaves. You can soak it in your uh, alcohol and water solution. Soak it there for a day. And then, afterwards, you'll get your mint spray. An alternative to that as well is if you buy lemons, tsaka mga other citrus fruits. So, dalanghita, calamansi. You just get... Um, a tablespoon of juice of those fruits, put it in your spray bottle instead of the essential oil, and then you can spray away. So, uh, marami tayong ibang mga pwedeng gamitin na nakikita din natin sa groceries aside from just the essential oils. So, ano ba yung benefits nun? Lemon is very invigorating. It's very energizing. It also has antiseptic properties. Diba? So, antibacterial properties. Diba minsan kapag may mga mabaho na um, kitchenware or utensils sa bahay natin, we can just use the lemon zest or the lemon peels, tas mawawala na yung smell niya. So, it's basically the same concept. We can just get the um, lemons, squeeze a little bit of the juice, and then use that for our replacement for the essential oils. Yan. Same goes with kalamansi, tsaka dalanghita. If gusto niyo yung mga ganong amoy, you can use those also. Yan. And then another question here. What's the importance of having a mom self-care kit? What a great question, Kim. Um, for me kasi, it's very important to, that we take care of ourselves first before we get to take care of our families. Diba? So there's also a saying, 
hindi ko memorize, hindi, hindi to verbatim, pero di ba, you can't serve other people from an empty jar. Right? So, yun. Um, you have to full, fill yourself first before you get to serve other people. Yun. So, importance ng self-care kit then is that you get to rest. Di ba? You get to recharge yourself because mo- being a mom is very tiring. Let's be honest, di ba? Nakakapagod talaga to take care of kids, to take care of the household, tapos nagtatrabaho ka pa. There are a lot of people who are still working during this ECQ and I am one of those. Very lucky ako. Um, and I realized na, na parang mas busy pa nga this ECQ for me kasi kulang yung tao namin sa opisina. So, yun. Mas nakakapagod siya. And one of the things that I use is this one. Uh, not just for my body, yung cooling mist na ginawa natin, but also for my feet. Malamig kasi siya sa paa. So, masarap siya gamitin after a long day. Yun. So, parang yung ginagamit nila pag nagpapaano tayo. Kaya, di ba? Nagpapa-pedicure after spray doon sa paa. Yan. Sarap siya gamitin. Yan. Si, ah, Miss, Mama Kay, can I use real mint leaves? Yeah. Yun yung minention ko kanina. Um, you can crush or chop up a, um, a bunch of mint leaves. Soak it overnight in the solution, in your bottle, and then you can use that. If you want to strain the mint leaves out, pwede din. Para hindi siya magka-clog doon sa spray bottle mo. Yon. So maybe no more questions. Did I miss any? Parang wala naman. Okay, let's move on to the second product. Ito mas gusto ko to. We're going to make our massage oil. So I have here virgin coconut oil. This is actually the food supplement type. So um, pag massage oils kasi, we need carrier oils, okay? So, pag sinabi natin carrier oils, this is where we dilute our essential oils. You cannot put essential oils directly on your skin, okay? So, we do not recommend that. Um, bakit? Kasi essential oils are very potent, and there's a chance na if you're, you have sensitive skin, you might develop reactions or sensitivities to it. Especially mga citruses, it can cause photosensitivity. So, nagkakaroon ng parang birthmark na sunog yung um, balat ninyo if you do that. If you put essential oil that is citrus, like lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit, bergamot, mabilis sila makaro- maka- um, sunog or maka photosensitize ng skin. So, ang nangyayari yun kapag naglagay kayo ng essential oil on your skin directly, and then you go out in the sun. So, meron siyang um, components in the essential oils that reacts with UV rays. Okay, so do not, do not, um, do not apply essential oils directly on your skin. Always, always dilute. Okay, so for today, the carrier oil that we're going to use is um, coconut oil simply because it's the most commonly available in groceries. So, pwede niya research online, okay, kung ano yung the best for your skin. So, what we're going to do now is just basically transfer coconut oil in our small bottle. Yeah. And then, we're going to use Ah! Nawala yung lavender ko. Nasaan yung lavender? Yeah. Okay, so, we're going to use lavender essential oil. Yeah. So, lavender is known for its calming and relaxing properties. So, same as kanina. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, just shake it. And basically, that's it. That is your massage oil. Pwede nyo na ibigay kay Hobby ang gagawin yung massage oil at magpamasahin na kayo sa kanya. Yeah. So, Diba? Super easy if you are going to make your own massage oil at home. If you do not like the smell of um, coconut oil, meron na ngayong mga binibenta that have minimal scent. Or um, you can also research what carrier oil would be suitable for your skin, especially if you have skin problems or if you have oily skin and very dry skin. Hi. 
Ayan, hello. Kamusta naman yung paggawa natin ng massage oil? Were you able to follow it? It's very easy. You only need two ingredients. Yes, Frax. It's very, very easy. You just need a um, a carrier oil, your essential oil of choice, and then that's it. Um, I'll, I'll go lang to the questions. Marilyn, very need ko ang massage oil. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Especially now that it's very it's a very stressful time for everybody, di ba? So, ang, ang daming tao na kailangan magpamasahe. So, kung hindi, syempre, hindi naman natin kaya masahin ng ating mga sarili. So, maghanap tayo ng mama, magmamasahe sa atin. <laughs> mga anak niyo o mga asawa niyo or partners. Yan. Um... Marilyn was asking ilang days po ang tagal niya. Um, I think this is referring to the cooling mist. Sige, let's answer this one lang. The cooling mist, because it has alcohol content, it it will not breed bacteria. Okay, so kung yun yung concern ninyo, hindi siya masisira maybe for the next six or six months to ten months. Yan, sure yan. And because peppermint also has antibacterial properties, so it won't go rancid. There. Sophia is asking, can I use rose hip or sunflower oil? Yes. Just check if it is compatible with your skin type. Yan. Um, we have a slide kanina. I don't I don't know if we can go back to that slide. Let me check. Can we do that? Sige, while we're, while we're checking on that. Ayan, sige, ipupull up natin yung, ano, yung slide kanina for the different carrier oils that you can use. Para you guys can see. Kasi syempre, um, not, a, not everyone has the same skin type, di ba? Ako, honestly, I have psoriasis. So I have very dry skin. Um, kaya ako, personally, ginagamit ko, honestly, VCO. And sweet almond. Sweet almond oil. Yeah. Can I use? Let me. Sige, habang wala pa, let's answer another question. Another question. If we don't have essential oils, what can we use along with the oil? Ah. Kung pang massage lang, you can use the carrier oil itself. So the idea for massage oils is that you use an oil that doesn't get absorbed by your skin easily. Kasi nga, di ba, gusto natin hinahagod yung likod natin, yung shoulders natin, yung kamay natin, or whatever body part that you want to be massaged. So kapag magbilis siya na-absorb ng skin, syempre magda-dry agad, um, you'll end up using more oil. So mas maganda that you check your skin type and then use the appropriate oil for your skin type. Para hindi mabilis na absorb ng balat ninyo. Yan. So, other carrier oils that you can use. Ito. So, what are carrier oils for, di ba? So, kailangan natin siya talaga to dilute our essential oils because it's very, it's very dangerous to use essential oils directly on your skin. So, if you have dry skin, you can use avocado oil, argan oil, wheat germ, Oil. Yeah. And then if you have oily skin, jojoba. Ayun. So those are the different oils that you can use. Sunflower oil, rose hip, and let me check the ano. Sophia, message me with your skin type para I can tell you if it's okay for your skin or not. Rose hip and sunflower. Okay. Para madali. <laughs> Yan. Nakaka-help ba ang massage oil to protect our skin sa sun? Um, honestly, even if there are carrier oils that have UV blocking um, capabilities, it's not enough to protect our skin totally. That's the reason why there are um, skin... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, sunblocks, di ba? Kasi yung SPF component nun, which is titanium dioxide, yun talaga yung nakaka, 
help mag-block ng ng rays ng sun. Actually hindi siya nabablock ng hindi niya binablock ang rays ng skin ay ng rays ng sun. Ang ginagawa niya is nire-reflect back niya yung um sunlight. So it forms a film on on our skin na binablock niya or nire-reflect back niya yung yung rays ng sun. Hey, what can we do as an alternative for massage oil to help with migraine? Hi, Shari. You can actually use peppermint and lavender. So lavender is anti-stress. It relieves stress and tension. Peppermint does that as well. Pati eucalyptus. So you can blend the three oils, put it in a carrier oil, and then you can put it on the temples of your forehead. Yan. Temples of your forehead, you can also put it at the back of your neck. Yon. So if you're a practitioner of yoga, di ba? Very ano yan, dito sa likod ng, ng ears, at the back of the neck, sa temples, pang clear ng mind, and also to release tension. So for migraine specifically, okay, we can use, actually you can also use citronella. Lavender, um, yeah, citronella and lavender, you can use both. Eucalyptus also. Pero be careful when you use eucalyptus near your eyes. Kasi, and peppermint pala, near your eyes. Kasi it has menthol, di ba? So, nakakasting ng eyes minsan. Yan. Do we have another question pa ba? Oh, Raj. Do you have a dog? There are essential oils that are not supposed to be used on pets. Uh, I'm not very familiar with it, sorry. Pero alam ko lavender is okay. Yun. Tapos since we have kids, ayan, okay, saktong-sakto your questions. What what oils can we take note of that are not too safe with kids? Yun, so eucalyptus, be careful when you use eucalyptus, rosemary, tsaka... Yeah, those two um, specifically because those are the most, one of the most, two of the most commonly used essential oils. Um, do not use them when you have kids that are two years old and below. Ideally nga, six years old and below, wag niyo expose masyado sa essential oils that are very strong. Um, because it can ha hamper the development of their respiratory system also. So, yun, if you have eucalyptus and rosemary, I would suggest that the maximum that you put in diffusers or yung electronic diffu ultrasonic diffusers at saka sa mga oil burners like this, maximum of 15 minutes lang. 15 to 30 minutes lang ang exposure nila to that kind of scent or essential oil. And then you keep it away from, the, from them, basically. So if you're going to use it to help them decongest their lungs kapag may colds, may cough, Put, uh, put it across them sa room. So, kunyari, yung bed nila is on one side. Put the diffuser or the oil burner on the opposite side. Yan. Did that answer your question? And Lavender is okay for kids. Walang problema sa lavender. Also, tea tree. Yan. Tea tree is also okay for kids. And so, I guess, actually, kay yung question mo is, will be answered by the next um, segment that we're going to do. We're going to do an essential oil blend for diffusers at saka for oil burners. So let's go to that. So next one would be the next, um, the last thing that we're going to make is something that you can use continuously in your own home. So what we'll need is an oil burner, like this one. Merong mga electric na ganito, but this one is a manual type. You'll need to put a tea light candle. Yan. So, an ano ang important kapag gumagamit tayo ng oil burners? Make sure that you always put at least uh, 50 to 75% ng bowl filled with water dapat siya. Okay, so bakit siya kailangan filled with water? Para hindi masusunog yung essential oils na ilalagay natin dito. So, I put um, plain water lang from the tap. And then the two essential oils that we're going to use for our relaxing blend for our oil warmers would be 
lavender, and eucalyptus. There. Okay. So, bakit lavender and eucalyptus? Lavender, of course, as I mentioned earlier for our massage oils, very relaxing, right? Calming, relaxing. And then, we will also use eucalyptus because eucalyptus is actually good for our respiratory health. Yon. So, this one is commonly used for um, allergies or cold, common colds. Nakaka-decon siya. So, maganda siya for respiratory health. And with all of the coronavirus issues that are surrounding us today, it's, eucalyptus is a good immune boost, booster also for our respiratory systems. So, so, ang gagawin natin today would be to put 3 drops of lavender and 3 drops of eucalyptus in our blend. So, ilalapit ko siya here. Also put it with this blend. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So basically, yan na siya. you just need to put your tea light candle under it, light it, and then let it do its thing. So ang caution lang kapag gumagamit kayo ng feed ng oil warmers would be to keep it away from children, especially. Um, if yung mga malilikot na anak, katulad ng akin. So, they, they get attracted to candles. So, means a tendency for them is to touch it, di ba? So, make sure na lang na it's um, some place that, you, you put it some place that's high, na hindi nila maaabot. Tapos, make sure that you turn it off also after a while. You don't let it evaporate completely. Um, number one, because you're going to burn the essential oils. Pag na-burn yung essential oils, that's not good because the carbon molecules in the essential oils would turn into carcinogens. So, may something to that effect. Okay? Um, so, yun. Huwag niyo patutuyuin yung bowls ninyo. And then, of course, essential oils are also flammable. Kaya, do not put it directly on the bowl. Make sure that there is always water. Diba? Very easy. You just need to put water. Diba? So, water and then your essential oils. Tea light, that's it. So, bakit yun yung three products that I chose? Actually, my purpose yan. Yeah. Number one, the cooling mist is to calm you down, to put you in a cool mood, diba? In a relaxed state. The second one is para... Actually, hindi lang pang massages to put it also on your temples. And then the last one is for the ambience na. Yan. So, wow. Si Raj, super hilig daw niya sa essential oils. Yes, diba? It's very, ano, it changes your mood instantly. Yan. <laughs> okay. Are there any questions for the essential oil blends? Actually, kasi, this one is very easy. Um, a lot of people use essential oils not just for, um, not just to change the ambience in their homes, but also for therapeutic properties, for their therapeutic properties. So if you have problems with your cough, your colds, tapos, yun nga, some people who have migraine, you can use essential oils to um, treat those symptoms. Okay, pero siyempre, if you have um, a more severe symptom for a specific illness, mas maganda pa rin doctors. Okay, so consult pa rin tayo sa mga doctor. Okay, um, question here from Shari. Where would you recommend to buy essential oils from? Actually, um, my brand, which is Scent for Living, we sell essential oils, but we only have a limited, limited range. Yon. So, you can also check Mumuso. I think sa Mumuso meron na rin. And then, its competitor stores, I think they also have Miniso, yung mga ganyan. And then, um, meron din sa Healthy Options. They have a big range of essential oils and other natural remedies they also have there. Um, there are also online sellers. Yun pala, um, just a word of caution. If you buy from online sellers, you check if they are legitimate. 
Okay, and that the product that they're selling is of good quality. So how will you know if it's of good quality? Actually, you have to try it first. Kasi syempre, you can't rely naman on whatever your your the, the store is going to tell you. As a, except if meron talaga siyang track record of selling essential oils. There are some LM, MLM um, brands that are already here in the Philippines. I'm pretty sure you know them. doTERRA, Young Living, Tesserand. Diba? So yung mga brands na yan, they have a long track record of producing and helping farmers that produce the essential oils. So yung kanila, they're of good quality talaga. And then, um, how to know if we're buying quality essential oils? Ano yan eh, based on experience, saka yun nga, reputation. So you have to check also. Don't just buy on Shopee, lalo na kapag sobrang mura. Be very, ano ah, be very cautious if you buy those things. Kasi there are some sellers that blend fragrances and essential oils together. So ano yung difference? When we say fragrance kasi, it's a general term for essential oils and the synthetics. So some sellers kasi, they, they would dilute um, with fragrances para nandun pa rin yung smell, na sin- yung synthetic na na fragrance. So, if you're looking for oils for their therapeutic properties, make sure that the oil that you're buying is the real natural essential oil. Okay? Hindi siya pareho sa pag sinabi lang natin na scent siya or fragrance siya. Yan. Is it okay to leave the diffuser on all night? No. Um, Sophia, better to better to diffuse only for 30 to 45 minutes. 45 minutes max. Number one is because of safety. Um, if you're using oil warmers like this that require tea light, para lang sure na hindi kayo masusunugan. Okay? Kasi some people, they forget that their tea lights are on. And pag natuyo yung bowl ninyo, as I mentioned kanina, um, the, the oils are, are flammable. So, in case lang, wala pa naman ako naririnig na nangyari yun, pero in case lang na masyadong uminit yung bowl ninyo and mag-cause ng sunog, di ba? So, we don't want that to happen naman. Um, this goes uh, for the ultrasonic diffusers also. So, 30 to 45 minutes lang. And aside from lavender oil, what other oils would you recommend to help us have a good night's sleep? Ah, good question. Okay, ako favorite ko, Kim, is to combine lavender, chamomile, and cedar wood. Yon, knock out. Knock out ka dyan. Um, other, sed- uh, other essential oils that have sedative properties would be ilang-ilang, um, also chamomile. Yan, so, pili na lang kayo kung ano yung gusto niyo yung smell. But the most commonly available would be lavender talaga. Yan. If you use lavender and cedar wood pa lang yun, ano, if you like the combination of the scent, yan, sure yan, it can help you even if you have insomnia. Yan. How many diffusers, uh, how many drops should I put in my diffuser from Joaquin? Okay. Um, three to five drops is okay. Yun nga, as I mentioned kanina, it depends on the space din kasi, on the size of your space. If you have a big room and your ultrasonic diffuser does not reach the end of the other end of the room, kunyari, magkalayo yung ano ninyo, yung diffuser nyo and yung kama ninyo, syempre, you'll need to add more. But if it's on your bedside lang, three to five drops is okay. Some people kasi, they, ano, they want the stronger scent. Um, I don't recommend putting too much kasi minsan it might overwhelm your system. Your The essential oils kasi they're absorbed by your lungs. Not just, hindi lang siya dumadaan na naamoy natin. They're abs- they are absorbed by our body. So, we don't recommend overdoing it. Yung ibang tao kasi gusto nila super strong yung smell. Tapos they diffuse it for a long time. Sa aromatherapy kasi, sometimes a little goes a long way. Okay. Yan, kay Raj. What's the best way to store or keep essential oils so they would last longer? Um, as long as they are kept away from heat, sunlight, and you keep the caps tightly closed, 
should be okay for the next two years. There are some essential oils that need to be disposed of after six months, especially if nag ano na na buksan yun na siya. And those those are usually the citruses, because they oxidize easily. So, kailangan monitor nyo din kung kailan nyo binuksan. So, usually what we do is, when you open the bottle already, you can get a pen, and then put a date on the cap. O kaya sa label, para hindi kayo, ma, hindi kayo malito with the, ano, with the expiry or when you need to toss the oils. And... Wow, dami ng tanong. Ah, meron pa ba? Yan, so I hope that these are able to ano to these will be able to give you a good night's sleep tonight. Mga mommies, right? Okay. Thank you guys for joining us today. And so just to recap, you have your cooling mist, your massage oil, and your essential oil blends. So cooling mist, you have your spray bottle, your alcohol, your water. If you do not want to make your own alcohol and water combination, you can actually use your colognes or your hand sanitizers. Diba? Yeah. And then um, add water na lang to your hand sanitizer. Three to five drops of peppermint essential oil for the cooling factor. If you want to add more essential oils or the citrus juices that I mentioned earlier, you, you can do that as well. Tapos, massage oils, you just need your empty bottles, coconut oil or the carrier oil of your choice. And then five drops of lavender essential oil. Um, you can also add other essential oils for your massage oils, depending on what, uh, what you want to have as an effect on your body. Yeah. And then for the essential oil blends, the one that we made is three drops la uh, lavender, three drops eucalyptus. There. Yon. Thank you, Mark. Oh my gosh, Mark. Why are you still awake? <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then, friends, thank you also. Happy Mother's Day also. And... If you have other questions na you, you're not able to ask ngayon, you can message me on IG. The My, my ID is the Fragrance Specialist. Yun. Tapos you can also check our websites. Ayan, nasa baba. So, Scent for Living, Scent Studio, and DC Fragrance. Thank you also, Marilyn, for watching. Sana nakatulong. <laughs> Yung massage oils nyo, bigay nyo na sa mga asawa nyo. Pamasahin na kayo. <laughs> and so, again, thank you, Ayala Malls and Mama Academy for having me. Um, ano pa ba? Happy Mother's Day again to all the moms. Bye! <music>
Palangga, tagit ka kaayo. Padabaon ta ka, mama. Ihigog mo kita, Nay. Happy Mother's Day. Days go by. Flowers, they bloom and die. All the why you and I. You still love me. I love you, mama. You make my whole world alright. You're always there, wanting the best for me. I think it's clear to see we're still in love. My best friend. Holding my hand again Until the very end We're still in love When you smile You make my life worthwhile And I believe that I love you, Mama, even though you don't hear it often. You know I always do. Every night I lie in your arms so tight. You make my dreams come alive. You make my whole world alright. You're always there. I think it's clear to see we're still in love. We just surprised Nana and your mom Nana with all I love. Fireworks. Bulaga. Happy Mother's Day. Gan mag Happy Mother's Day sa mga Nana. I love you. Oh, I love you. Every night I lie in your arms so tight. You make my dreams come alive You make my whole world alright You're always there Wanting the best for me I think it's clear to see We're still in love yeah, I think it's clear to see we're still in love.